Hey, uh, let's stay underwater for just a little while longer if you can hold your breath. A massive four-year study revealing a secret and a beautiful world of plankton. Now, one of the largest ecosystems on the planet is a little less murky to all of us. You're looking at some of the images that they captured right here in our amazing studio in AMHQ, which is almost as beautiful as those images. But David Biello, the environmental uh, and the environment and energy editor for our Scientific American, is with us right now to take a deep dive this morning on, on plankton, I guess. So let's talk a little bit about the terror. Uh, research schooner. It stopped at more than 200 stations to take some data. So what were the biggest findings in this expedition? Well, I think uh, the biggest finding is how much life there is out there. We haven't spent as much time exploring the oceans as we have uh, maybe other planets. Uh, and we right. really didn't know yeah. what uh, uh, the blue waters that cover 70% of the globe uh, uh, held. And they have found uh, at least uh, 10,000 new viruses and 150,000 new organisms. All right, so David, let's just jump on this. Why is that important? I mean, viruses makes us perk up right away and, and hear <laughs> this. So why is it important for us to know the, about these organisms and viruses? Well, I'm, I'm sure not all those viruses will kill you. Uh, I'm from the Midwest. <laughs> I have a healthy fear of the sea, yeah. uh, and this just, uh, you know, uh, uh, exacerbates that. Anyway, um, you know, it's important because this is the basis of the global food web. This is the, uh, these are the tiny little creatures and plants uh, that uh, allow something like the blue whale to exist. Um, so this is really what keeps our, our planet humming. Uh, the plants that they found are actually responsible for about half the oxygen we're breathing. So we want to know if there are problems in this ecosystem because it's uh, something that we all rely on. And of course, the oceans are uh, the world's uh, weather makers, yep. uh, so they're important to you too. And, and, they, and you know what? We at the Weather Channel are firmly with you uh, on every part of this discussion right now because they are hugely important to all of us and our life on the planet. You also discovered that they're very sensitive at the same time that you found them. So what will that tell us? Well, what, we've, what, what the scientists found when they were out there for four years on this uh, actually pretty amazing ship uh, is that the, what they're most sensitive to, what these uh, organisms are most sensitive to in their daily life is temperature. It's not uh, how salty the water is. It's not any of the other conditions that there might be, like uh, how acidic the water is. It's yeah. temperature. As it's we all temperature. know, temperatures are rising, particularly in the surface layer of the ocean, because the ocean is trapping a lot of the extra heat um, that greenhouse gases are, are, are trapping in the atmosphere. The ocean sucks up that heat. Uh, so this ecosystem is going through some, uh, some major changes uh, to temperature, and uh, it turns out these, uh, these little critters are, are very sensitive to that. Uh, so uh, that's a little bit worrying. Yeah, it's very worrying. David, I could have this conversation and would love to every day right here on AMHQ, but thank you for having it today. And if you want to go deeper on this topic and dive into it, uh, Science uh, American is the magazine, Scientific American. Uh, you can look at the June issue and pick it up on stands, or you can just do what we do right here and go to scientificamerican.com. It's just as easy, but this way you get the lovely magazine to hold in your hand.